Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for Fox 16 News at 9. I'm Cassandra Webb. Tonight, the mother of the 10-year-old girl killed at Boyle Park is speaking about her daughter's life and tragic death. The shooting incident happened around 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Police say two people got into an argument, and they believe the little girl was caught in the crossfire. Our Claire Kreitz spoke to the girl's mother and joins us live from Little Rock Police Headquarters. Claire, the community is really coming together to support this family. Yeah, that's right. From flowers to stuffed animals, everyone's showing their love to the family of Jalea Hughes. I talked to her mom today, and she described her daughter as full of life, and she just wish wishes she could have one more moment with her baby. They took my baby. A place where families come to play, now a reminder of a tragic day in the city of Little Rock. She was an honor student from first grade. To now. As Euquita Bradley walks up to this memorial of her daughter, Jalea, she reflects on how her little girl made such an impact from the day she was born. I became pregnant with her. She changed me. But just one day ago, her life was cut short. According to Little Rock Police, around 4 Saturday afternoon, two people got into an argument and shots were fired. This innocent child caught in the crossfire. That was my strength. That was my motivation <laughs> to where I am right now. They robbed me of my old child. Bradley says she tried everything she could. But I never thought that I would be doing CPR on my daughter. Now, the spot where she lost her life is filled with balloons, flowers, and teddy bears. These are my babies. All from those who are offering comfort to this grieving mother. Wrap our arms around the family, try to be there for them in any, whatever kind of way. Showing that she's not alone. We all in this together. She hurt and we hurt too. Police say there is another victim in this shooting. They say he was one of the ones in the initial argument. He is in critical condition. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you. Thank you, Claire, for that live report.